For the past couple of years, I was searching for ways to track my sleep and consequently try to improve it. I started by journaling and writing down the details of my every night's sleep. Then I moved to using a variety of different sleep apps so I actually had to sleep with my smartphone under the pillow. Then I started using my smartwatch. But none of the tools were either comfortable nor accurate. And then I came across the Aura Ring Sleep Tracker. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of your inception. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe below to start your journey to limitless performance. Today, we are gonna talk about the Aura Ring Sleep Tracker. Now, this is one of the most popular and apparently one of the most accurate sleep trackers on the market. And I've been using it for a couple of months, almost half a year, and I have a lot of things to say about this sleep tracker. Some great and some, well, not that great. Aura Ring is obviously a ring that you can put on any of the fingers you want to, obviously it has the fits on it, and it can measure a few different key elements and signals from your body to understand three crucial things. Your sleep quality, your activity, and your readiness level. And we'll talk about all three sections more in details in the second part of the video. Now, in my opinion, this ring looks amazing. It comes in four different colors at this moment, and it costs somewhere between $300 to $400. It's water resistant, made of titanium. It comes with a charging device and a free sizing kit. So it's basically impossible to order the wrong size. This is basically a Bluetooth device that stores all the data from your whole day and night. And then once you get close to your smartphone, you can connect to it and then all the data will be transferred to your smartphone device where you will be able to see it, compare it, and also then take certain actions to improve it. One of the good things about this app is that it's free, you get it for free with the device, so there's no additional cost of using it. Now, let's look at the three main features that we talked about. Sleep quality is the first one. Obviously, one of the main reasons why I decided to test and then buy this device was because I wanted to track my sleep quality. And Aura Ring does this in a very interesting way. It uses lots of different data to then try to give you a score from 0 to 100 and based on that score you can see if you slept well or not that good. So among other things, it checks total sleep time, time in bed, sleep efficiency, restfulness, rapid eye movement sleep, deep sleep, latency and even timing. Now how important each of these elements is, it's kind of hard to say but every day you'll get a total score, but you can also check each individual factor, so it's quite easy to adjust different parts of your sleep if you know where the issue is. For example, if you go to sleep too late at night, then you can change this. If you have some other issues, well, you can, you can optimize different parts of your sleep. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now, the second feature is the activity. Every day, Aura Ring gives you the activity score, which kind of show you if your activity was good, if you're too active, or if you're not active enough. And to give you this data, it checks different things, such as total calories burned in a day, how many steps you took, training frequency, training volume, recovery time, daily movement, and even daily active time. But as you will soon see, this activity part has some issues. I'll talk about this in the end. Last but not least, there's the readiness score. Now, in my opinion, this is the most accurate and the most useful part of the Aura Ring. Now, some people don't like it, but I find it tremendously useful and I really um, find it very accurate. Now, the readiness score is based on the following factors. Resting heart rate, heart rate variability, respiratory rate, body temperature, recovery index, sleep score, and previous day activity. So as you can see, it kind of takes the data from your sleep and your activity from the previous day, and then based on that, it recommends you either to perform really hard on the next day, go to the gym, work out, or to kind of take a little bit easier day the next day. Now, a couple of other features that I really like is that once you get the score over 85, you'll get a small crown there, which is kind of a cool, and it pushes you to try really hard to get a score over 85. And the other thing is the heart rate variability, which many other trackers cannot track. And the cool thing about heart rate variability is that it always checks your baseline that it calculates after about three to four weeks of use, and then it gives you a score based on your baseline and not based on any other standard. Now, why exactly do I use Aura Ring? First of all, I decided to buy it because I wanted to see 
how my sleep looks like and if there's something I have to improve. And that was the main reason. And this is also why I recommend to many other people. I can also track within the app, obviously, the sleep stages. I can check my deep sleep. I can check my rapid eye movement sleep and different elements that are very interesting to me. Secondly, I can see how different activities like drinking alcohol in the evening, eating a large meal in the evening or other stuff influence my sleep so I can change this or optimize it in order to have as least impact on my sleep as possible. I also use Aura Ring uh, when I'm trying different sleep supplements so I can see how they influence my sleep and if they improve it or not. By the way guys, if you want to check my favorite sleep supplements, check up there, there's a link uh, which will lead you to a video which I prepared just for you guys. The second thing is the readiness level. I really like that because sometimes I sleep really well, but then the readiness score is pretty low, which tells you it's a day in front of you that you need to kind of recover, take it easy. And I find this very useful and very accurate. Actually, I never checked all the scores, the sleep score and the readiness score before I try to manually say how uh, well I slept or how, how well I feel, basically. Um, and after I do this, I compare this to the score that Aura Rings gives you. And this is always pretty similar. So if I feel well rested, Aura Ring usually shows that as well. And, and if I don't, then Aura Ring also uh, informs me about that. And this is very useful. And when it comes to activity, I definitely prefer tracking activity with my Garmin smartwatch that I currently use. Um, it's much more, I think, accurate. And at the same time, as you will later see, uh, Aura Ring has some issues for activity tracking, which I personally don't like. So yeah. I'm gonna talk about this very soon. So how can Aura Ring benefit you? Well, the first thing, you can definitely improve your sleep pretty quickly once you get um, basic scores and once you track or use Aura Ring for a couple of days or weeks, um, you will see when something goes wrong, uh, if you didn't sleep well enough, when is your perfect time to go to bed and that kind of stuff. So this is probably the biggest benefit you can get out of Aura Ring. And the second one is readiness level, which I talked about it before. Um, or we can tell you if you can really work hard the next day or if you should take a day off or you know take it a bit easier. Um, and it's really accurate as I said before and very useful, especially if you have many really hard days but you had really good sleep. However, you're not well rested and because of that, um, or I will kind of tell you to take it easy and whenever I follow this, I have no issues with my health. I feel really good the next day. Uh, but whenever I try to push it, sometimes there's a small crash that follows um, and yeah, this is something you need to know about. And if you check this data every day, well, you can avoid burnouts or small crashes. Now, here are four reasons I really like Aura Ring. First of all, I think the sleep tracking is very accurate. Um, based on the data I found, based on the studies I found, and based on my personal experience, I find this data very accurate. And if I feel awakened, if I feel I have enough energy in the morning and I slept well, usually Aura Ring score is 80 and above. The second thing is I really like the look. It looks very nice, very clean. It's very easy to wear I, and I can easily wear it all day around and sleep with it. It's not too bulky like this watch, for example, uh, for sleeping. So I really like this. The third thing is that you get a free app with that tool or gadget, uh, which is not that often in this industry. For many other tools, uh, you need to pay actually for using the app and the data. And the last thing is that by following the data and optimizing your sleep or your performance, you can quickly see lots of benefits and results. Now, there are a couple of things I don't like about Aura Ring. The first one is the activity tracker. Now, I find the activity tracker not that accurate compared to my uh, Garmin smartwatch. And the other thing about this one is that obviously you wear a ring on your fingers, right? So whenever you work out, for example, I work out with kettlebells quite often, um, you kind of, uh, you can scratch it, even though it says it's uh, it's scratch resistant. I don't think that to be totally true because I have already some scratches on the ring. And secondly, it's not comfortable, you know, working out with, with weights or, you know, even doing like push-ups. It's not that cool having this ring on it. I don't find it comfortable and I don't like using it. And at the same time, you don't see any data on the ring. You have to look at the app later on um, compared to like, uh, for example, my smartwatch. Um, so yeah, for activity tracking, I really prefer a smartwatch compared to Aura Ring. Now, the second thing I would like to see improved in the next version is battery life. According to Aura, the battery works for about seven days. Based on my experience, it's more like four to five days maximum. So that's something that could be definitely improved. Synchronizing is also a little bit of an issue for me 
um, I'm using the new Samsung S20 and I have some issues with syncing the smartphone with uh, the ring. Um, sometimes it's worked very you know, easily and it connects immediately and sometimes it just takes a little bit of more time, a couple of minutes I have to um, turn off the app a couple of times and I really don't like that. And last but not least, the accuracy of the deep sleep is somehow questionable. Um, I know that those small devices have very hard time accurately measuring the deep sleep, um, but overall sleep score, I find it very accurate, so um, I wouldn't worry about not knowing the exact date about deep sleep at this very moment. And I think with the newer versions, the deep sleep measuring will also become more accurate. So the final verdict, do I recommend using the Oura Ring or not? Well, based on my experience, based on my data, my research, definitely, I definitely recommend to everyone who is serious about sleep hacking, who wants to improve uh, their sleep, sleep quality, who wants to uh, kind of a take control over you know, his life or her life, um, because that's what Oura Ring can give you. Uh, it can help you see different parts of your sleep, your day, your activity, um, and show you some potential problems which you can then optimize. I find it most useful for sleep tracking. It's small, it's simple to use. Uh, it's not that affordable for many, but I think, you know, if you look at the price performance, it's well worth the money. Um, so if you wanna improve your sleep, if you wanna kind of know or prevent any kind of burnouts or, um, you know, energy problems or that kind of stuff, uh, then Aura Ring is definitely a ring to try. Um, as I said, it's pretty cool and compared to all the other devices out there, um, I really like the size and the feel and look of Aura Ring. So if you wanna learn more about Aura Ring, there's a link below, check it out. Guys, I hope you like this video. Please share it with your friends. Press the like button below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.